Okay, so serviceability. Um, you notice that we don't have an unloader on the pumps. The unloader is separate, mounted on the side of the heater. We'll get to that in just a minute. Right now, I want to show you easy access to belt tensioning. Uh, these are on these are on swing arms. The pumps are individually mounted on individual swing arms to make it real simple to tension belts individually on this beast. And uh, easy access for the mounting hardware. You don't have to raise up the machine with the forklift to get to the belt tensioning system on this. So uh, this is definitely a serviceability thing that needs to happen in the middle of the night if, if you need to. Um, and um, moving along for more serviceability, we've got a pressure gauge on the head of the pump uh, so we can easily see what the pressure actually is running at the, at the pump. Sometimes a flow restriction or a blockage in a line can cause you grief like at the chemical injector, for example, if there's a downstream injector and it gets clogged, you're gonna have big pressure here with the regulator saying you've got plenty of pressure, but what comes out the wand is, is nothing um, or, or minimized. You need to be able to find that real easily. And when you've got a pressure gauge on the head of the pump directly that tells you what the actual pump is seeing, uh, that can help you with your troubleshooting very easily. Now, moving on to the regulator being mounted so that you can get to it, on the side of this heater works very cool. This one happens to have a split going off to a secondary regulator for more multifunctionality. Um, but uh, my, um, my example here for the moment is the fact that this is easy access for serviceability. Now, the only thing in this configuration we have that's even half an arm's reach away from right here easy access is the flow switch. But even that has a mounting that incorporates a compression swivel so you can take it off in a minute with two small adjustable wrenches, very easy access. The temperature control has an easy access cover plate at the top of it, very easy to get to, no big deal. We've got the temperature control right here in its own junction box, so everything's really easy to get to on this system. We've got uh, the burner set up with um, clear fuel lines so we can see air bubbles coming or going uh, to and from the uh, fuel pump in the in the fuel tank. We don't want to see any air bubbles in those lines. That would indicate where the problem is if you're troubleshooting. Another thing you're going to want to know about with the heater for troubleshooting is what the fuel pressure is. There's a fuel pressure gauge down in the down in the front here that allows you to see that you have good fuel pressure. If you were to lose heat, you walk back to the machine and see that the fuel pressure isn't right, you know you might need to either clean the filter or put more fuel in. It's that simple. And with the temperature gauge on the outlet side of the heater over here, you're gonna be able to monitor your working temperature. You can tell if there's something wrong. Troubleshooting this system should be easy. This is set up for ease.